thank you for joining me to the, in today's video. I had so much fun recording Nick's really cool world in Valheim that it gave me some ideas to do a series, a similar series, in Conan. In this series, we're going to explore the various cribs of Conan. Not only will you see my base, take a tour of my, my base in Kale, but you're going to see in this series, Faja Times, Trisha's, uh, Sexy Bigs, Thunderbuds, uh, Commander Rikers, uh, bases. And each one has done, uh, they've chosen a different area in this world, different style of base, and it's been really fun to see their, their bases. So in today's video, we are going to explore Devon's base. So you'll see over here, this is the broken highway that you spawn into as a new player. And you have to get through this desert and you come across this jungle, jungly area. This was the first base that was made in this world. And this is Devon's base. Now Devon did this part of the base, I think, uh, from what I remember, Faja Time and Sexy Big started off this base and, and built this. And then Devin added on with this part over here. So we'll take a tour of both of all of this. This is where um, you, you when you capture the thralls, you, um, you put them over here and it breaks them in. And I think this... Okay, this isn't a boss. There is a boss over here. These elephants are badass. Yeah, I'm triggering all kinds of things. That really sucks. Oh yeah, he can see me. Oh yeah, that's weird. Okay, I wonder. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do really quick? I'm gonna have to change this. Let's see if that helps. Alright. Okay, we're gonna let these guys kill this crocodile really quick. I love the elephants. The elephants are so freaking badass. My Ellie is the same way. She is such a badass. They make great um, loading for her. Uh, putting supplies on, and also as bodyguards. Yeah, sucks to be you! Bye-bye! <laughs> okay, now I'm cloaked, so hopefully I won't trigger anymore. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna open this up. Oh, huh. Alright, so there's an animal pen. So this is the inside of this base. So there's some work tables in here. Different benches. Very cool. Over here we've got um, compost heap and things to get fish. Go up here really quick. So, I know that Devin was in the process of rearranging things. But we've got more workbenches up here. And then this should... Oh, yeah. You can just go, whoo! <laughs> and jump it that way. So we've got a bonfire here. We've got some stables where you can, and Devin's got like an animal pen, that's what it is. It's got rock noses. So here, this is the inside of Devin's base that he made to go with the space. various chests, little beds to spawn on. I 
like the round shape of it. It's really cool. And I've built with this uh, type of building set, and I've not really used the uh, windows, but those are some cool windows. I like it. It's almost like a broken ship wheel, like from a ship, like a, a pirate ship. It's cool. And then we've got uh, a performer, and they are also really good guards, too. But this is Devin's base! starting off and I wish I had Devin in here to question or ask him why he chose to have like take over this base and this location but it is good like if you're starting off this is a good location to have because over here you have a group of people that you can grab for thralls and it changes but you've got like a carpenter and you've got uh, an archer that you can come over here and grab and make them your thralls. So that, you know, the, you have that close by. You have like the alligator that we just saw and some like, shale backs that you can kill. Uh, you get their eggs for food. You saw a nest, you get food, but they also give you good um, killing them, gives you experience and supplies from them. So this is a good location starting off, and that's why it was started here, and you know, probably also why Devin chose this. But yeah, it's a really pretty location, and a lot of resources here. Oh, you know what, I think Devin built onto here too, if I'm not mistaken. So this area used to be like an open patio that we could go onto, that you could just go stand out, and he covered it up which is cool. I don't know how, like, honestly, do you have this elephant and you have this uh, performer, but if there was a purge, and we're gonna be turning on the purge after I'm done filming all of these spaces, then I'm gonna get everybody in here to turn on the purge and we're gonna see how each of our bases hold up with the purge. So we'll see how Devin's base holds up in a purge. Does he have enough things guarded or will this all be decimated? So tune in at a later time to see how this base fares. But this is a little, this is a shorter base tour of Devon's base, but I have more in store, but I hope you enjoyed the little tour. Stay tuned for the next video in the series Cribs of Conan, where we will explore Commander Riker's base. Until then, peace, love, and blessed be.